So let's get started. I am in a different website. I'm in the training website, but the website that the, that the room supervisors will go to is testadmin.act.org. First thing you wanna do is sign in. So you sign in with your username and password. Your username is your WLS email address and your password is whatever you set it to. And if you don't remember, you can always click the um, forgot password. On this next page, you're gonna go to the testing area. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna select an action here in the dropdown and you're gonna click on sessions because you need to start your testing session. Now here are all of the testing sessions that I can see on my screen. And I wanna start the SARA 2 testing session. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna go up here to the select task <laughs> drop down and then I'm going to click on show students in session and control sessions now if I scroll down I don't see any students ah I need students to see your students you need to click on your session list here so when I click on Sarah 2 then here is my student now depending on your screen, you may have to scroll down to see the list of students. It just I think it just kind of depends on how big your monitor is. Uh, but sometimes if you, you're not gonna see your students here, you're gonna scroll down and that's where you're gonna see them. You're gonna see them down here. Now I only have one student in my testing session, but you will have multiple students in your session. You only wanna click on the students that are there in the room ready to take the test. If you accidentally click on a student that is absent, they will not be able to make up the test during the makeup session. In this example, I am seeing the green start session button. When we did this earlier today, I did not see the green start session. It's not a huge big deal. It just, if you see it, you need to click on it first, then you can unlock the test most of us will not see the green start session button on the day of the ACT. So now at this point, you have to unlock the test. So you grab that and you slide that over and you unlock the test for the student. So at this point, your proctor can pass out the testing card. Now remember, they should be using their Chromebook. They do not log into their Chromebook. They're just gonna click on the apps button in the lower left hand corner and then they're going to choose test nav and then they're going to sign in with their username and passcode so after they put in their username and password they can go ahead and click start it's not starting the actual timed part of the act um, but they need to complete the pre-test information which is like their name their email and things like that and then you are going to direct your students to skip the state questions they can just click in the upper left-hand corner, the blue arrow at the top to skip that part. And then students will agree to the examination agreement statement. And then at that point, they're going to need the seal codes. So I will show you how to get your seal codes. To get your seal codes, you need to go to the resources drop-down menu right here. And you will see right here, the very first option is seal codes. So we're gonna click seal codes and it will open up in a new tab and here are the seal codes for, you, for the English, math, reading, and science portion of the test. You will read the seal code that corresponds to the test section to the students as indicated in the script. Do not post the seal codes. Now, once the students have, have started their test, you can actually go in and monitor and see how they're doing. So you, remember seal codes open in a new tab and then you just go over here to the student in sessions tab. And if you scroll down, it doesn't look like anything's happening. And that's because I need to refresh. So it is important. It doesn't automatically refresh. Like I think the Ohio State test automatically refreshes. So that's a little annoying. You have to click the refresh button. And then, ta-da, you can see that the student is active and is working on the test. Now, if I click on this active, it will bring up another screen that will show what I've answered 
and where I am in the test. And then to get out of this window, you just click the X in the upper right hand corner. When the students get to the end of the science section, they'll see a little banner that says, congratulations, you have finished. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna refresh. And then you'll see once I refresh, so that's the key is to make sure that you've refreshed. You'll see that this says completed. Now, if an examinee does not finish the test, like maybe they got sick in the middle of the test or something, the room supervisor will need to go in for that student who started the test but did not finish due to some reason. The room supervisor needs to go in for that student and mark this section complete. Your absent students should not be showing at this point on your screen. While you were testing, we were busy removing all of those absent students from the testing system based on what you marked on your roster. Now that everyone is marked complete, or if you had students who were dismissed for some reason and you had to manually mark complete, you can go up here to the top and select the Stop Session button. The button now becomes a Restart Session button but you just wanna leave that alone. <laughs> and then you can direct the students to log out of test nav. So at this point, the students are done. But it is important that you refer to the schedule for the building before you release your students. The last thing we're gonna cover here are the irregularity reports. The room supervisor will use this system, this Pearson Access Next system that we are in right now to submit irregularity reports. You're gonna click on the ACT button and that'll take us back to that main screen. Now we're gonna to go to the testing icon and we are going to select student test. You're gonna type in the last name of the student. So my student was last AF. That's what it was. You're gonna click next to the student. Then in the select task, Drop down, you're going to select Manage Irregularities, and then you click Start. So here we have two students. Here's one um, irregularity report that's already um, put in. But it is important that you click the student. So here's Last AF. Here you're gonna put in the date and the time. See how there's a little baby time icon down here? I'm gonna click that. So let's say it happened at 10 a.m. and you can be very specific and you can go there and then right here you can click back on the calendar icon and then choose the date. So you just want to double check that this is correct before you move on. And then there's a whole um, list of irregularity um, incidents that you can choose from. So let's say that the student had he got sick during the test. It can happen. We're just gonna say And then of course you can add a lot more detail and we would encourage you to add as much detail as you can. You do need to contact your administration that it happened. So let your principal know that there was an irregularity during testing. Now, if you have an irregularity that affects the entire testing room, you want to select all the examinees that were present in your room. When you are finished entering all of your irregularity reports, hopefully you will have none, you're gonna select save and then exit task. So up here is exit tasks. All right, you can learn more about irregularity reports on page 62 of the manual. And it is very important that you read the manual and you are familiar with the testing irregularities. So that is the technical part. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, Sarah Hoffman, or Laura Bowes. Cassandra Spain is managing all of the um, students with accommodations. So you can reach out to any of us on the team and we will um, help you the best we can. But please, before you reach out to us, please, please, please read the manual. So many of the questions are answered in that manual and it is your responsibility to read that manual.